I'm launching a quarterly magazine. It's not a podcast. It is a magazine about podcasting. <laughs> like that's been really difficult for people to wrap their heads around that you could also write about podcasting. You don't just have to talk about it. So sound sorceresses, and I'm sorry if you don't like S's, but also not super sorry, uh, <laughs> is a quarterly magazine featuring up to 10 women, and it's women very specifically, who are writing about kind of a wide variety of things in podcasting. Um, so our first edition is coming out on October 1st. We have an article about Hindenburg, which is one of the Dawes that is, at least amongst the people that I know, is extremely popular. Um, I know a lot of people who use Hindenburg, so I'm talking about that. But there's also kind of this narrative piece to it, right? Like women talking about their experiences in podcasting or um, you know, kind of a mix of the two, right? Like I had this experience out in the field and here was the technical fix for my challenge. So that's kind of what you can expect from it. But it really was born out of... Honestly, myself and a lot of other women basically just existing as people out there in the world <laughs> as podcast editors. And there are a lot of articles talking about podcast editing and the technical pieces and building your business. But you might notice that a lot of those articles are quoting men. Men are great. Men are wonderful. Uh, they're only part of the gender soup that we all live in. Um, and so kind of, there was a little group of us, Stefuccio of Coffee Like Media, um, Bethany Sands of Bethany Sands Audio was also, we kind of just started making these comments like how, this is a great article. It's really too bad that you didn't quote any women in the article. And we kept hearing back from the authors oh, well, there's just no women out there. And we're going, uh, hey, women right here working in the field. And for me, it very much got to the point where I was like, okay, I've got to do something about this. This is very frustrating, right? There's a lot of women and non-binary folks who are working in podcasting. What can I do? Um, and so a magazine was really where I landed. Um, now, the reason for the quarterly actually goes back to kind of that balance that we were talking about a minute ago. Um, right? If you've been listening, now you know. I'm a full-time worker with three children and a spouse. So... I'm going, okay, I have this idea. I'm very excited about the idea. I've got a lot of other demands on my time. What's, what's the release model that already makes sense for the life that I'm living right now? Because you can't just throw it all out. Um, so that's why it's a quarterly publication. So the magazine is actually hosted on Substack, soundsorceresses.substack.com. You'll find all of our content there. We're releasing a bi-monthly newsletter uh, to just kind of like build some excitement and get pe help people to get to know our authors. Um, but that's where you're going to go for all of, for like the subscription that I mentioned earlier, any other support options, or if you just want to read the newsletter or the magazine, it's all there on Substack. The other thing that we are doing uh I say both to build community and uh, that that money piece of it. Uh, we are running a contest right now. Uh, individuals can also subscribe to Sound Sorceresses. It's completely free. Like you don't. Ha it's not behind a paywall or anything like that. Just if it supporting women in audio storytelling is important to you, one way that you can show that is by subscribing. If you Sign up for a free subscription. 
which you totally can do. You get one free entry into this giveaway. If it's a paid subscription, you get four entries. So we're giving away the MV7 SRH440A tripod bundle that has um, the headphones and the, and the microphone, I'm sure. So we're really excited that they were willing to partner with us. But that has been really exciting to me as well. But There needs to be more awareness that this is not only a male space. And I know right. I've talked with Allison Holly about this quite a bit because for me as a man, I feel frustrated because there isn't a shortage of you out there. Like you said, Steph Fuccio has a huge number of non-male editors that she would bring on to her different shows. Yeah. So there, there really is no excuse for not including them in these bigger articles. Right, right. Well, and I think it's also so much, you know, of course, like my focus is on women, women because that's like the space that I inhabit as a human being that lives in our society. But um, it, podcasting really is, is, I would say it's male coded, but it's also. Um, I would also say that it's white coded and heterosexual coded, right? So we're really talking. So like when you're in the industry, right? Like there's this very thin veneer of, um, hey, when we're talking about pod podcasting, we're talking about white straight guys. And that is absolutely not the case, right? As excited as I am about this project and I hope that it, really takes off and provides kind of like that representative and community space. The other thing that I hope that it does is to encourage people to do something similar representing their own community that they, that they live in and inhabit. Maybe this just sounds naive, but I really do believe that like this and hopefully a bunch of other things really have the opportunity to make it clear how much podcasting is a medium where everybody to share their story and to be heard and valued uh, for that experience, for the experience that they have and the experience that they bring 